So what's going on everybody this Saturday morning on the Iceman's Return YouTube channel on the Iceman Wrestling Network. Um, I was reading an article and it was last night about the arena in St. Louis has got like about 4,000 seats available for the pay-per-view tomorrow night, which is really unheard of. Um, it just lets us all know that maybe wrestling has lost a little bit uh, as far as... Uh, fans go um, you know it's unheard of for a pay-per-view not to be sold out like usually within the first couple days when the tickets go on sale and uh, yeah but I'll guarantee that the seats will be filled whether whether or not uh, they all get sold because tickets will be given away just to fill the arena and I'll guarantee that much anyway uh, but yeah so you know it sort of makes you wonder why uh, Things like this are starting to happen. Uh, ratings are dropping um, in pretty much all promotions, I would say. Um, you know, it's wrestling isn't like it used to be, and it never will be, probably. People like to cling on to the past. The past is the past. The present is the present. Um, I will say that we are fortunate with the Internet that we can watch pretty much any promotion that we want to watch, whether it be watching it live or watching it maybe the next day somewhere on a website. But you have the access to really watch any any wrestling uh, that's out there. And that's one of the good things about the Internet, because back in the old days, if you didn't live in a territory area, you never got to uh, you know watch their particular shows. Like living here in the Northeast, it was all WWF, or when it changed to the WWF, uh, you never got to see, uh, you know, Georgia Championship Wrestling or Mid Atlantic Championship Wrestling, or you know the promotions, you know the AWA back out in Minnesota uh, until cable came around. So that's one fortunate thing about the internet these days. But I think the internet also hurts hurts wrestling in a lot of ways as well too. Uh, just simply for the fact that a lot of wrestling shows are taped and uh, you can go online and you can find out the results you can find out who's wrestling on the card and you can say after you see the results and who's on there well you know my superstar that I that's my favorite superstar that's not on the show so I'm just not going to tune in and I'm not going to watch it so you know so ratings are hurt by the internet obviously um, you know, even the biggest promotion in the world, the WWE, uh, their live shows, their their live ratings uh, for Raw, they drop. Uh, their house shows aren't doing as well as they used to. Um, and I, it, sometimes I think a lot of times is the WWE has failed to really uh, try to... Uh, what's the word I'm trying to say? They're not pushing all their stars that appear on the show. Um, you know, a lot of people were talking about R Truth and, and, and uh, Wade Barrett on the pre show. It seems like Barrett's always on a pre show. Um, and uh, people are saying, well, why is R Truth even on the card? Well, this is my point. I mean, years ago, our truth was a lot bigger than he is today, but the WWE sort of let him fade into the, the sunset. And now that they're they're pushing him a little bit, you know, people are saying, "Well, geez, we're not used to seeing him, and you know, you know, we don't want to see him." But you know, this is what the WWE needs to do more of: uh, is to put these guys. It doesn't have to be on Raw, but it could be on SmackDown. Put these guys on a show where they get the exposure. And maybe, you know, gain their popularity back by the fans. And, you know, once this is all said and done, uh, you got more stars that can get involved in storylines. I mean, it's like the U.S. title right now with John Cena holding the title. I don't know how long he's going to have it for. Probably not too much longer. Uh, but by him having this belt, it's brought other stars uh, that are more viable into the mix 
and it's it's brought a lot of attention now as we've seen Kevin Owens, Rusev, and, and Cesaro, you know, with their three way match on Monday Night Raw, it was it was a good three way, and of course we saw Kevin Owens leave the match, but you knew he was going to come back, but it it made for a very entertaining three way match, and it was a pretty good lengthy match as well, and this is what the WWE needs to do more of. They need to you know, do this with other other superstars. You know, um, guys like our truth or Jack Swagger or even Zack Ryder who had popularity, you know, back, I believe it was like just three or four years ago. Um, they, can, they can rebuild and remake these stars popular once again. And they should do this just for the simple fact that you have more of an option for your Intercontinental title, for your U.S. title. Build these guys up to where possibly maybe they could get involved in a main event. A lot of people are going to say, well, you know, you can't do that. You can only have so many involved in the main event. But this would give different options for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship title match. It wouldn't be the same handful of stars going after that belt because this is why people get tired of watching because it's it's just the same handful of guys that go after that belt and uh, you need to you need to bring something different into it and uh, hopefully WWE will do this um, because back in the old days this is what they did this is how they made superstars they got all these guys on the roster and for the most part you know many of them went after the world title and that's how they became big and that's how you know the fans grew on them you know they started to get attached to them and um you know the wwe can still do that today they definitely can um but it just seems to me i think they're a little bit out of touch in some ways because i think they just focus on certain people and uh they need to get out of that realm um, of focusing on just a handful of people. Now, whether or not it's Vince McMahon and Triple H's fault, you know, I'm sure a lot of it falls on their shoulders. Um, uh, you got Triple H looking in one direction, you got Vince looking in another, and I'm sure that they butt heads a lot of times, and uh, they don't agree, obviously. Uh, but then they come down to a point where, okay, we'll do this. Um, I know Triple H is more on the future, uh, the stars coming up. Vince still has, um, you know, uh, a thing for uh, the stars that have been around for a while. And there's nothing wrong with that either. But, you know, like I said, they don't always have to be involved in the main event, main event pitcher. Um, yeah, it's good to have new blood in. It's good because that's how you develop and create a star and make him become bigger. Uh, but, you know, don't forget about the guys that have gotten you where you are today, like the R-Truths, um, people like that. And, uh, you know, hopefully hopefully things, things will shape up. Hopefully things will work out. I think um, sooner or later the WWE management will see the light. And, uh, you know, come up with some way. Um, you know, Vince isn't getting any younger. And he's been a genius throughout the years. Um, I think one of his most uh, uh, biggest things that he did was implement himself on WWF TV, uh, which really escalated the ratings. And then bringing his family into it with Shane and Stephanie. And uh, I don't know about you guys, but I miss Shane McMahon. Uh, Shane McMahon was not only an entertainment uh, entertainer on TV, but also when he was in wrestling matches, he held his own. Uh, you can almost think that he was a superstar amongst superstars. Uh, so anyway, give me your thoughts. Give me your opinions. And uh, tomorrow, battle round. I'm looking forward to it. A lot of people aren't. Uh, but the Owens-Cena match and the Rollins-Lesnar match I'm looking forward to. 
and I'm just looking forward to see how they end. If there's any kind of a swerve, so to speak. So anyway, give me your thoughts, give me your opinions. And if you have any ideas on anything you would like for me to talk about in a video, just let me know. I'm open for, uh, you know, any kind of, uh, any kind of, uh, you know, different kind of wrestling talk, whatever, whatever people's interested in, you know, so, all right, guys, enjoy your Saturday, I'm going to watch SummerSlam of 2000 a little bit later, um, and uh, we'll see you next time, peace out, everybody, stay safe.